say hello to the bowling ball. There is a reason why I am sitting here and not at the opposite side of the room where I normally sit. And I will talk about all that a little bit later and there will be a warning. For everyone who doesn't want to hear about personal stuff, you can mute me at that moment. So there is no reason for complaints. You can mute me, you don't have to hear it, you can still watch the video, so... Yay! Win-win for everyone! Um, but one of the things I am doing inspired this whole video. And what a surprise, you may already know it from the thumbnail and from the title of the video. And yeah, so um, we are making a doll inspired by Honey from Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch. Let's do it. Because Honey has quite interesting body proportions, I thought a Draculaura body would work well, but with a hat I have shrunken ages ago with acetone. Maybe you can tell that it was rock solid. <laughs> And because of that, there is no way to get the head onto the body. <laughs> of course, the most obvious conclusion was to take out the Dremel tool and sand down the inside of her head as much as possible. Basically, it was working. The wider hole meant that she was fitting onto the neck pack, but it was too long, so I had to cut it down. And then I still had a little bit of problems to get the head onto the neck pack, so I thought, okay, cut away more. <laughs> and I think you already know where this will end. I cut away more and more and more and then the head fitted onto the neck pack but <laughs> as soon as i pushed it onto the neck a little bit more yeah the whole head thing neck pack piece yeah neck and neck piece was were inside the head because now there was nothing that was long enough to prevent this from happening <laughs> Let's cheer me on. Yay me, I'm so great. But I decided that this will be a problem for future me and took out the acrylics to give the eyes a base coat <laughs> and then sprayed everything with two layers of MSC as soon as this was finished. And dried. That was the important part. It had to dry. The solution involved a saw. And me and the doll, and some epoxy putty. So, <laughs> buckle up, honey. <laughs> the first step was to saw off her head, and because the only saw, uh, saw I had laying around was one for metal, it, yeah, I don't know. It was a little bit difficult. Could be that it would always have been difficult, but a metal saw isn't the right thing. We can agree on that. Great, let's go on. <laughs> as soon as the top of the head and the bottom of the head were not longer connected, <laughs> it was time to start the repaint. As per usual, I started with some soft pastels and then used watercolor pencils to do the rest of it. And because... I do think everyone knows the drill by now, uh, now, I use the opportunity to talk about some of the stuff that changed in my life now. So consider this your warning, if you don't want to hear about it, you can mute me now. Let's continue. 
Three months ago, I stopped smoking. After I smoked for 23 years of my life. <laughs> Which is insane when I think about it now. But um, it was a journey on its own and at least for the first month I was quite in an interesting mu a mood. So, not so nice, not so great. But doesn't matter. Quite fast after I gave up smoking, I think a week later, I started to finally <laughs> do some sport with Ring Fit Adventure on the Nintendo Switch. Hence why I was able to get to know Honey and fell in love with her whole concept. Because I am not the most sporty of persons, I know, hard to tell when you look at me. Um, <laughs> I still have to get used to it and take some time. But the next thing that changed was that I needed to do something. I was so nervous and longing for a cigarette that I started decluttering and cleaning. And it ended in me sorting out nearly everything I have, and I'm still on it, and yeah, it is a lot. It is, it is a lot of stuff, I threw away a lot of it, I am sorting out a lot of it, I'm gifting a lot of it, I, yeah. So, that is a whole other thing, and everywhere is standing stuff, and yeah, but I want to finally get everything organized, because, let's face it, with all the different stuff I'm making, from drawing to sewing to doll making to whatever, I have a lot of materials, and I only have two rooms. My living room doubles as my uh, crafting room, and my bedroom doubles as my... Um, cutting floor, <laughs> cutting room and editing room, so, and sometimes as my crafting room as well, what you will see when I sew the dress, but doesn't matter. Um, I finally feel the need to get organized, and as long as I have this enthusiasm about it, I will use it. But that makes two new things already, and then I started to, yeah, do more for me as well. So I made a whole beauty plan for me, what I want to do when I did my um, workout routine and drinking some smoothies was involved and is still involved. and. That means a lot of stuff changed for me. And because of the state of my mental health, it is not that easy <laughs> to get me to keep doing all of that. To stay organized, to make sport, to care about myself. And that takes quite a lot of effort to get me there. And that means most of the time I wasn't able to do anything else than these new things. So, making YouTube content wasn't the most important thing in the last few months. And I still will struggle with all of this. But I am trying to put myself first. Which is a very new concept for me. Um, and I know that I post weekly at the moment totally speaks against everything I just said. But um, at the moment I can deal with it. I still make everything else and am able to post weekly. So... We will see how long this will go well. So that is the explanation. I hope that you get it. And for everyone who muted me 
now there will be a sign somewhere that they can put the audio on again. In case you just turned the audio on again, welcome again! Let's do some clothing! Because, again, I have a pink character. And I have to say again, I don't really like pink. I'm not sure why I am always drawn towards the pink characters. Especially when it comes to Nintendo, it seems. Doesn't matter. Um, I bought two children tops because I don't think that I will ever have the need for two different pinks of cotton jersey again. I don't think so. And if I will ever have to buy something like that again, I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> so, yeah. What I used for her dress were two children's tops that I bought quite cheap. Normally, I would have asked some friends, or I did ask some friends for old clothing that they have in these colors, but most of my friends are goths, or former goths. No one of them is wearing something that is pink. So difficult to get <laughs> other colors than black. <laughs> so I had to buy it. I know. Recycling would have been better, but it is what it is. And as you might have already noticed, I started by first putting the pattern down on the fabric di directly. Then <laughs> I took out some white fabric and traced the pattern onto that to flatline everything so that the jersey has the look and the feel of jersey, but isn't stretchy anymore. Yes, the details I want in my dolls that no one will ever notice are there. <laughs> As I said, you will never notice them, that, but, but I have some things in mind when I do stuff like that. And uh, obviously I ironed on her little scissors that are on her apron making the pattern for her dress was interesting because i am quite sure that her dress is inspired by a lot of things one of that is a kimono because of the way her dress closes on the top it overlays like a kimono and then you have yeah, her belt situation is quite similar to an obi and what you um, have on top of it, as far as I know. I'm not an expert in kimonos, but I think it is based on one. But then you have the apron on top of it, but everything looks as if it is one piece. So I made it all into one piece. And I did have to redo some stuff. I was already finished with the dress and I put it onto the doll and I thought it looked ugly. It wasn't wide enough, so I added a fourth um, piece into the skirt. Originally I thought I only need three of them, but that was not enough. So I added one more mm, and I had to change a little bit of stuff on the top. But yeah, 
the basic pattern was working, I just needed to be a little bit more accurate and to change one or two things. But I do think that I succeeded in the end and the dress looks quite nice and quite similar to the original. Then it was time to prepare her beads, pearls, whatever that are in her hair and the ribbons that are around her legs. And I was quite sneaky. I first glued them onto her feet and then just glued them again on every point the two of them jointed and yeah. Then I glued them in place on her upper thigh. So <laughs> there is no slippage. Everything will stay in place. Then it was time for the next disaster, which were the shoes. I first asked my brother if he would like to give me some warbler because all the doll shoes that I had were not the right fit and I wasn't really inspired by them to cut some of them apart. And he told me that he will give it to me maybe tomorrow or so, as soon as he will find it. And that was not the best answer, so I took another doll, saran wrap, contact cement and fabric and did a lot of stuff and ended up with two, let's call them interesting shoes. They are not the prettiest, but they are also not the ugliest I made so far. <laughs> Let's say it is a win and move on. <laughs> and I really would appreciate it if we never need to talk about these shoes again. Maybe someday in the future when I made more of them. I will be okay with making a tutorial or something like that, but at the moment they are ugly. But close enough. <laughs> On to the next problem. Because I finally decided to sculpt her pincushion that is on her arm and her flowing, free flowing, not attached upper sleeve, uh, sleeve thing and her gun roll that she has at her um, wrist. I needed to put her into her dress first, so I stitched her into it, because, let's face it, I only will be able to remove all of that when I destroy the doll, so... She will be like this. Forever, I hope. I'm not sure. I said something like that before and changed it all, but I guess she will never change. Let's stay there. And the other thing I wanted to do at this moment was securing her head. So I placed a dollop of epoxy clay onto the neck pack and tried not to touch the inside of the head so that it will only fuse with the neck pack and not with the rest so still movable. At the next day I tried to move her head and everything came apart so I had to do it again. This time <laughs> I guess the theme of this video is fixing it off camera. Um, I cut away everything inside the head placed some saran wrap to protect the inside of the head, but made a hole into it so that the neck pack can slip through it. Then I put another dollop of epoxy clay onto it and smushed that onto her head as rough and as unprecise as possible, because I hoped it will get smushed under the neck pack. And then I let it dry for 24 hours again. Yay! But so far it seems to work. It is keeping its shape, it is looking great, the head wasn't falling off, so... Everything is fine? He said skeptically. It was finally time to give her some hair. 
And I made some yarn wefts, I think, two months ago, when I first saw her and thought, the concept is so cool. <laughs> I really do like the idea with her bun being a pincushion and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I took out some foam, cut it into a ball, and glued the hair around it, the wefts. And let's face it, I was not completely happy with it. So, and say it with me now, I did another one off camera. <laughs> Yay! It is really, it really is the theme of today's video, because not only did another, did did I do another bun off camera? I had her nearly finished. Her hair was in place, the bun was glued in place, the beads were pinned where they should go. And I was not as much in love with her as I really wanted to be. Because the hair looked wrong, the bun was too big, the beads were too small. <laughs> so I fixed it off camera! Hey! For the second hairdo, I did a lot of stuff different. First I started with ripping everything off of her that was on top of her head, which showed me at least that the neck pack situation was working. And then I cut away the <laughs> glue part of the yarn wefts so that it was loose yarn again, <laughs> loose brushed out yarn, and just glued it in place. Because the thing that bugged me the most was how chunky her whole hairline was. And by gluing it in place this way, it looked a little bit more real and dainty and like I wanted her to look. And yeah, then I glued all the hair in place, put the bun on top and was finally happy with her, so that I could pin the new beads that were a size bigger onto her, paint everything, and she was done. Gosh, this girl was a journey. <laughs> but I do think that she was worth it. I really like how she came out, and she will live next to my sewing machine, so you may see her from time to time. One last thing I really need to show you are my three Nintendo girls side by side, because I thought it was hilarious. Celeste from Animal Crossing, Princess Peach from Super Mario, and Honey from Ring Fit Adventure. A lot of pink. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and you like her as much as I do. Even if she is such a pink girl. And we will see us in another video. Have a great time and until then. Bye.